Hey guys, Shadow here. First off, I'd like to apologize for not having uh, put up a video lately. I haven't been playing Path of Exile nearly as much as I used to, and this month has been rather interesting for me lately. So, when we last left off, I was going to go and complete the first quest after I had, after I had uh, grinded a little bit. So... I have grinded a little bit. I am now level 5. When we last left off in the last video, I believe I was level 3. Um, have some slightly better equipment. Have a rare item. I don't know if you've already seen that. So, some interesting stuff has happened a little bit. So, let's sell off these items. Go ahead. And then stash these. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's use that. Increases my strength. All right. Oh, I don't see anything interesting. Alright, so let's get on out of here and go and complete the first quest. If you will recall, recall, recalling apparently. If you recall, the first quest is to go and get a medicine chest for whatever the fuck her name is. What's her name? That's the wrong button, Shadow. Where are we? World Penalties. You. Um, Estelle. So what we have to do is we have to head uh, southwest, uh, southeast, sorry. As you can tell, ooh, that hurt. Oh god, that makes me hurt. Ew. As you can tell, I like the area of effect attacks. Ooh, I've leveled up. Alright. So, let me wipe out these guys, and I'll show you what I've changed in my skill tree. Alright, come on then. Alright, I'm just gonna run over here. Hopefully, I'm out of the way enough. Alright. So, I did go up. And through this uh, melee part, I did get a little bit of mana regen, but that's because of reasons of, well, I need it. Mana regen is something that I definitely need in any class that I use. So, what I'm thinking about doing is I need this. Because my hits will have a tendency to miss due to the fact that I won't have very much dexterity. So that's what I'm going to head for first. Being attacked. Oh god, there's so many of them. So the path that I'm going to take is... What's that? I think I'm going to be using two-handed more. So I'm going to go through this, get those two head through, get down to here, and head towards uh, that skill. And there we go. Can you tell which one's the unique one? Hmm. Yeah, where are I? Oh, and she hurts. I forgot. Well, I hurt too, so... Bleh. So yeah, I believe I'm going to be using two-handed weapons more in this since... Um, Mostly because of sweep, it's a very fun. You fuckhead. It's a very fun technique. Technique? Skill? Something. And I need to use a portal. How is this? Is this crap? It's. Yeah, it's halfway decent. But not my style. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to speed sell, because it's... What the fuck? Oh yeah, that's something that I 
we just read about on the change log. So usually if you have to sell something, you have to drag it over. It takes forever whenever you have an inventory full like I do. Or you can hold control and just click. Now this isn't uh, very... It's not very good at um, space management so you may end up having to go into the cell bit twice and possibly even three times if your inventory is completely screwed up but it's usually not that bad and you can also use the same thing to put items into your inventory or into the stash or pull it out from your inventory uh, come on, surround me. Okay. The thing that I love about games like this is that you can get surrounded by monsters, click a button, and you wipe them all out. And that's just something that I have always loved in games. I love how I'm just running around with like a baseball bat and just be living hell out of everything. So. It's kind of hard to notice unless you've been here, but you want to go down this direction to get to the first mission and complete it, and this is where you find the title island. This is where you will have to, where you have to go to complete your first mission and um, get the whatever it's called. So we're gonna run through here, and I think it's up this direction. Wail on everything with my mall. Right. Eh, bugger off, though. Die! <laughs> oh, I love that. Alright. Whack them in the face. Whack them in the face. So it's somewhere around here that, uh, you find the chest. It's it's in different areas because this game random gener randomly generates new terrain. Some rocks. You always want to check the rocks because sometimes they'll be oh that's bad. Sometimes they'll be boulders and this is a pain in the ass. Oh I'm almost dead. Oh I'm almost dead. Oh I'm almost dead. Ouch. Heal. There we go. So you gotta kill that person to get the medicine chest. And that unfortunately takes up an uh, inventory space, so you have to have some space in your inventory if you want to get it. Which I recommend you do, seeing as how it's, you know, a uh, item, a uh, uh, quest item. Bugger off. Die! Anyway, so let me check. Do I have a. Uh, no. What are you? Yeah, fuck you. Uh, Quicksilver flask. So these are not like other flasks. They don't um, regenerate your health or your mana. Instead, what they do is they uh, increase your movement speed by some percentage. Now, these can be useful, but I generally don't use them after a uh, few after the first act. I will now, however, because well, speed is useful right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack, and I'm going to show you an easy way to go from this place back home without having to use a uh, portal. So you start from here and what you do is you just run up here, hang a right, and then you go into the mud flats. And the reason why you go into the mud flats is because right here at the beginning of the mud flats there is a uh, waypoint which you can activate and then you can just teleport straight home as you can see here. 
and then we're going to teleport home, sell some stuff, teleport back, grab those items, and then sell them again. So, because you want as much uh, as many items as you can. So first, let's talk to Nessa. A medicine chest. This means more to us than you can know. There are some who wouldn't have lasted the night without it. Take so. In return for giving her the medicine chest, she's going to give you a flask. Well, since we don't really, since we've already got a quicksilver flask, we don't really need that. Since we already have a medium mana flask, we don't really need that. So we're going to go with a medium life flask. And as you can see, it's unidentified, which is very, very interesting. So that means that it's going to have some sort of special effects to it. What? I don't know. But we will find out together. So let's just sell some of this stuff. Open up our inventory, and what do we got? Something good, please. Dispels frozen and chilled, and return increases charge recovery. I have no idea what charge recovery, but the dispel frozen and chilled is very good. Also, it holds more than the other flasks. See, this one holds. Uh, this one recovers 60 life, this one will recover 100 life. And this one has more charges to it, so we'll be able to use this one more hypothetically than we would this one. So we'll go ahead and sell that flask. And then let's go on over here. Let's see, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. I'm just going to keep that on me in case we run into something special and I want to identify it real quick. Alright, so I'm going to go back, grab the, sh grab the stuff, and we'll be right back. So I forgot to interact with this guy after I gave Nessa the medicine chest. So, you managed to sell with shaky hands drugably. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that benumbed quack Optin never did. Here, have one of these. So as a reward, we get a skill gem. So raise zombie. Oh, also, your skill gems, as you can see, I'm getting blue and red ones. The reason for that is because I'm using a Templar. And they sit right along the strength and magic borderlines, so we're, I'm more likely to get blue and red ones. Ooh, fireball. I like fire. We're gonna go with that. And screw spark. Hmm. I wonder if I can find a better one of those. Animals don't seem to rise up after death the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, what's doing it for them? The answer's in so in order to find out why the animals are coming back to life, we have to head to the fetid pool. There's something in the fetid pool that's bringing them back to life. We need to figure out what it is so we can kick its ass and keep the animals from coming back and attempting to kill these people. So, I don't really want Fireball to be there. Instead, I want it to be here on the queue. So, in order to fix that, what I do is I left-click here, and then I choose which skill I want to be there. So since I want uh, Fireball to be there, I click on the Fireball, and now Fireball is set to Q. So let's remove that. All right. That's something that I figured out recently. So we have to go to the Mud Flats, and then branch off into the Fetid Pool, which is where our next mission is. So I'm going to show you guys what's in the Mud Flats. It's... Uh, Kind of an interesting and frightening place. Range is definitely useful there, but since I don't really use range with this class, uh, I guess that's not going to happen very much. Alright. 
Well, since these guys are the reason why range is good. Whenever they run into you, they have a chance to stun you, and so it's a good idea to try and kill them before they hit you. Ah, as you can see on the mini map, there's a green circle on that. That means that there's a point of interest here. Oh, good, my fireball's about to level up, so let's burn that bugger. That didn't work. Die! Alright. He died. So, right here is a Roa nest, and this is uh, very important. There are three of them in this area, and the reason why they're important you'll find one of these glyphs. And you need to take these in order to get to the next area. You can see them right here. I don't think that the mall is considered a mason. I killed that guy with my mind! Well, that was interesting. Is this considered a mace? Two-handed mace? Would this still work? Let's find out. Yes, it will. Alright, well, let's do that then. And third nest. Third nest. Second nest. The Halitosis Glyph. Oh, I broke him. I don't feel sorry about that. Bugger off, you get. Ooh, an orb of chance. I'll teach you guys about orbs, uh once I get at least one of every one of them, which may take a little bit. I don't know. And here's the third and final uh, row of nest, which will give us the last glyph. You know what? I'm going to show you guys what an orb of transformation does. So, with an orb of transformation, transmutation, sorry, it brings a normal item to a magic item. So this is a normal item. You can tell because it has white text. So we right click on the orb of transmutation and then you can see on the mouse there's that little orb of transmutation there. That means that you have it and you can use it on something. Then we left click on the corroded blade and it turns into a corroded blade of the Inuit. No, I don't much care for that. So since I don't much care for that, I'm going to use the Orb of Alteration. It reforges a magic item with a new random property. And what this means is, instead of having 10, plus 10% 10 of cold resistance, now it's going to add cold damage. I'll go with that. And if I want to add yet another uh, magic aspect to it, I can use an Orb of Augmentation, which adds a new random property to an already magic item. And that will give us increased accuracy rating. I'm fine with that. So let's go murder some things with my new blade. See, I told you guys I'd teach you soon about that. I just didn't think it would be that soon. So those are the main ones that you're going to encounter. Um, there are more that are more useful, but since we're nowhere near finding them, we're not going to worry about them. Alright guys, so I've shown you the mud flats pretty well. I've shown you that you need to grab and grab the uh, glyphs from the row nests. And soon I will show you what to do with them. But for now, I think it's time that we take a break because my mouth is about to fall off and be dried up and everything. So until next time, we will. I will see you guys later.